Hello, everybody, and welcome to another God Morning. Yes, we simply love connecting with you and look forward to sharing God's Word with you today. And we are, of course, looking at the book of Proverbs, which is basically God's roadmap for us, each and every one of you, for living a victorious and overcoming life. Yes, we love the fact that we serve a God who really wants His very best for That's us. Right. And gives us the means to attain His best mm. through the wisdom, the counsel, instruction that we find in Proverbs. That's you know, right. Proverbs is an awesome book. Yeah, you know, I, I was actually looking at the word Proverbs. Mm. And, um, you know, the, a verb is actually a doing word. Right. So we can become the pro in the verb Proverbs. We can become pros at doing in the doing word. the Word of God. Very so that's good. why it's called Proverbs. So, and <laughs> we're trying to just emphasize the fact that that's it is right. a very it's practical a doing book. book. Yes, and it's my kind of book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we get that. And, um, Folks, yesterday we saw in Proverbs 1, verses 2 to 4, how we can move from knowing and then to perceiving, and that's the revelation part. Um, and then... Uh, perceiving. To what? To receiving. To receiving. From there, right. once we have perceived, we can receive. And once we have received, we are now in a place to give and to be a blessing. That's amazing. All right, so now let's take it a bit further. Let's look at uh, Proverbs 1, 4 to 6 again. And it says there to give prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. And then verse 6, to understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. Notice that verse 4 says to the simple. Mm. It's, it begins by saying to the simple, and then from there it moves to the young man or the young woman. That's right. And then verse 5 goes to the wise man or the wise woman. That's and right. I don't know if you can see the progression there. Can you see the progression? But we may all start off as being simple in our understanding, our faith, our walk with God. Uh, are living a victorious life, all of that. But the good news is we don't have to stay there. That's right. Proverbs, the book of Proverbs written by Solomon will help us to go from simple to young, we like that, yes. to wise, all right? And notice verse five says that the wise man or woman, all right, will then begin to hear an increase in learning. So essentially Proverb, Proverbs finds you at where you are in this life and then practically brings you to where God wants you to be. And not only that, there's a threefold progression here. That's right. Yeah. I mean, the Bible is a book of threes, yeah. you know, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. If you think about the tabernacle of Moses, you had the outer court and then the holy place and then the most holy place. Father, uh, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. There was prophet, priest and king. That's right. Then when you come into the New Testament, there's the 30 fold, 60 fold, fold a hundred and a hundred fold. I want a hundred fold. I want a hundred fold as well. Right. You want a yes. hundred fold as well, right? That's right. Um, if you look at Mark 4, 28, he talks about, for the earth yields crops by itself. First the blade, then the head, and after that, the full grain. There's the, there's the threefold progression. In John 15, Jesus spoke, if you read the first eight verses there, Jesus spoke about having fruit. And then he says, now that's not enough. I want you to move on to more fruit. And once you have more fruit, to much fruit, all right? So we can see here the threefold uh, progression. We are spirit, soul, and body. You are spirit, soul, and body. Like you said, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the faith of God is such that it always will move you to a place Absolutely. of being bigger, better, and stronger. That's why you always say Absolutely. there's no time for a Kit Kat break. No time for a Kit Kat break. That's and right. we are a faith people that have a faith covenant with a faith God. In other words, Proverbs and the whole Bible is actually a book geared to making you and I bigger, better, and stronger in the things of God. 
bigger, better, stronger in our faith, bigger, better, stronger in our ability to worship, bigger, better, stronger in my love for God and yeah. His people, bigger, better, stronger in my capacity to serve God and people, and bigger, better, stronger in my fellowship. Everything right. about God is bigger, better, stronger. Yes, because there's only one gear in faith, and that's forward. Only one gear. That's right. That is forward. You cannot retreat. You cannot go back, and there's no neutral. If you're Nothing. neutral, you're actually backsliding. But right. in essence, the kingdom really is all about movement, and there's only one direction. That's forward movement. That's right. And when we move forward, all of us, hallelujah, I need you to, to help me move forward. You need me to help you move forward. We all need each other to help us move forward. And when we all move forward, it means we're all getting bigger, better, and stronger in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Babe, how about you praying this morning? And let's pray for the folks right now that they can move into that place of being bigger, better, and stronger. Thank you, Father, for each person that's watching today. I thank you for a bigger, better, and stronger day today in mm. everything that, that they do. I thank you, Father, for your blessing this morning. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. We God love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.